Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we will learn about constructor in Java. So let's get started. A constructor in Java is a special method that is used to initialize data members or variables of a class. The constructor is called when an object of a class is created. Constructor has following properties. Number 1. The constructor name must match the class name. Number 2. A constructor cannot have a return type. Number 3. A constructor is called when an object of a class is created. All classes have constructors by default. If you do not create a class constructor yourself, Java creates one for you. Constructors can also take parameters which is used to initialize attributes or data members inside a class. Now let's go to IntelliJ and let's create a program that will hold a class of student and the student has data members like his name and GPA. And we have to create a constructor to initialize the data members of a student class. And then we have to access them from the main class. So for that let's create a new Java file called as student.java and let's create a public class of student inside that. And let's declare two variables or data members for a student that will be his name and GPA. So both of them should be string and now let's create a constructor to initialize these variables. So as we have learned that a constructor name should match the class name and it should not have a return type. So just write public student and this constructor function should accept two arguments as string name and string GPA. And let's initialize our class variable as this dot name equal to name and this dot GPA equal to GPA. So here this represents the object of this class and this dot name represents the class variable that we have declared above here inside the student class and we are just initializing them from the constructor function. So now let's create the object of student class inside the main class and let's pass the parameters to the constructor function as John as a name and let's pass 3 for the GPA. So now the class variable should be initialized with name and GPA. Now let's print the student class variables from main class as system.out.println student.name and student.gpa. And let's run our program. So there you go. We have initialized the class variables using constructor. And note that if you have watched my previous video on classes, then you know that before constructors, we were using setters to initialize the variable. But using constructor, it can be done even better. And also the code remains clean and tidy. So that's it for this video. I hope you find this video helpful. For more videos like this, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon next to it. And if you want to support me then you can do it on Patreon with as little amount as $2. The link to my Patreon page is given in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next time. Oh, my God.